Hello Stoke community, welcome to another Starbase UGC video tutorial. This tutorial is part 7 of Triggers and we're gonna show you something, it's kind of a crazy workaround, um, but it allows you to tie triggers into timers of sorts. You don't have control over the exact time, but it does create delays between um, when events are going to happen and when you can stop events from happening. So I set up a map. Oh, and I want to give a shout out to Lord of Pit. Um, Lord of Pit helped me with this and uh, Leviathan99 helped Lord of Pit with this. So thanks guys. In this map, I have put a bomb at a warp core. And my mission is to defuse the bomb. I can get up to the bomb and I could try to defuse it or I could just be lazy. You know, let's say that I can't find the bomb or I can't disable the force field in front of the door. Um, I can't solve a puzzle to get to the bomb. Um, let's say, or, or maybe I'm just, I'm spent. I'm tired of this war. I'm tired of a seven front war and they need to have some red shirt, not a, uh oh. And the bomb just went off because I didn't, I didn't get to it in time. But, if I stay focused, if I solve the puzzle, if I get past the force field, then I can get to the bomb in time, and I can defuse it. Now the explosion will never occur. Okay, now I can't go through this step by step in the editor, but I'm going to try to explain what's going on here. Actually, let's go to the editor for a minute. Um, okay, so in engineering there's a beacon and that's what's in my story tab to interact with, interact with the beacon. Then there is also a explosion. There's um, some other push pins, but don't worry about those for a second. Let me show you what I have in the far end of the map here, something that the player won't see, especially if I walk, if I wall it off. Um, I have a group of NPC friendlies. They're a powerful captain mob federation. And in the corner here, trapped behind some crates, are some targs. Once both these groups spawn, the federation captain group will kill the targs. Now once the targs are dead, then there's another enemy mob of um, Orions that are set to appear. So once the targs are dead, the Orions will appear. And I did that by setting the, um, the appearance of the Orions they become visible when the component complete is the Targ enemy squad. So when the Targs are dead, the Orions appear. And with the explosion, when the Orions are dead, the explosion appears. So if I do nothing, if I just let events take place, then over here in this small corner of the map, stuff is happening that the player doesn't see. and the feds are killing targs. Once the targs die, the Gorn spawn, or the Orions spawn. Once the Orions die, then the explosion occurs. But if I can get to the, the beacon in time, then the beacon, the beacon will trigger an invisible wall and the invisible wall is right here. So if I can get to that beacon and trigger that invisible wall before the NPCs kill the Targs, then when the Orions appear, they'll be separated from the Federation squad with an invisible wall. And when there's that invisible wad, wall, the feds can't see the Orions, so the fighting stops. Okay, so that's that's the trick. It's um, 
delaying an explosion by tying the explosion into the death of NPCs and being able to stop the combat of the NPCs by putting in multiple groups. And if one of the groups is separated by an invisible wall, the fighting won't continue. And I put the targs in the corner and put them behind crates here because I didn't want um, I, I didn't want the targs to be able to move into this region and I didn't want the feds to move into this region so that when the invisible wall appears the fighting would continue because if the fighting starts and the invisible wall appears the fighting will continue but if the invisible wall appears before the fighting starts then you've essentially stopped the fighting. Um, and the last point that um, you need to remember with this trick is that these other push pins, well these are the push pins of the squads because the squads will not spawn unless the player is close enough to that gray push pin. So I had to put the put the groups in engineering and then zoom way out and move the individual actors to the other side of the map. So when the player gets close to engineering, that spawns the NPCs in this back room. They fight. Once the targs are killed, then the Orions appear and they fight. Um, but none of this would occur necessarily if I didn't have those push pins in engineering where the player's proximity to them triggers the NPCs. And let me just um, play this once more and I'll show you what this room looks like. Let me move the spawn point. Alright, well there's the targs in a corner behind some crates and the feds are killing them. Now the Gorn appear. But, let's return to the editor. If that invisible wall is just immediately visible, then we'll watch what happens. Okay, so there is the... There's the Targs. And the NPCs are killing the Targs. and then the Gorn beam in. But because there's an invisible wall that um, separates the Gorn from the friendlies, the friendlies aren't aware that the Gorn are there and the Gorn aren't aware that the friendlies are there. So it stops the fighting. Um, and because the fighting can't continue it means the explosion will not happen and I have saved the day and saved the warp core. Okay so that's this trick for now. I hope that's helpful. Um, please leave feedback on the forums or the blog. Please uh, leave requests for future tutorials. Please help us edit Wiki UGC. Um, okay, thanks.